Welcome back to you Learn Tutorials. Hi, my name is Michael Chow, and today the next tool that we're going to be using in the Retouching Tools is the Content Aware Move tool. This tool works in a similar way to the Patch Tool in Destination Mode, except it allows you to either extend a selected area or move it and fill the initial selected area. There are two different modes in the Content Aware Move tool, Move and Extend. The Move mode allows you to place objects in different locations. Now this does work better if the background is similar, such as this one. The Extend mode uses the mode to copy objects such as trees or buildings. You can also transform objects as well. to make it shorter, taller, wider, thinner, smaller, whatever you want. To select your Content Aware Move tool, go to your Retouching Tools in the two bars. It will look like the double arrow. You can also click and hold until you see the Content Aware Move tool, or you can also go Shift-J to select the next one. So that was a good practice to create a new layer. So in your Layers panel, you can do the drop-down menu, click on New Layer. You can also use the icon in the, in the bottom of the Layers panel to create a new layer. Or if you want, you can go to the menu, Layer, New, Layer, or Command Shift N. With the Account Aware Move tool, you have three other options as well. Structure, Color, Sample All Layers, as well as Transform Drop. And I don't really consider Sample All Layers a function. It just allows it to do with all layers. If you decide to use Structure, enter a value between 1 and 7 to specify how close the patch should reflect the existing image patterns. So if you enter 5, the patch will adhere very strong to the existing image patterns. But if you enter 1, the patch adheres very loosely to the existing image pattern. This will basically help blend the edges color. If you enter a value between 0 and 10, this will specify the extent to apply a color blend to the patch. So if you enter 0, the cleaning blending the color blending is off, and if you enter a value of 10, this applies maximum color blending. With the transformation on drop, this cool feature allows you to do a transform just like the transformation tool by resizing the item that is selected. We are going to move this goldfish in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to leave my structure and color as 2. It works somewhat pretty good. We're going to work on a new layer 1, and I'm going to move it over here like so. It gives us a bounding box around the image. We can go ahead and resize it. Again, in Photoshop, if you're using 2019, you no longer have to hold the Shift key to be resizing it proportionally. If you're using older versions such as 28 and below, then you will need to hold down the Shift key. Okay, and then let's move it over here. Once you're okay with it, you can either just click on the check mark, click on one of the tools here, or you just double click it. And what I would do is Photoshop is going to analyze it, as you can see here. Give it some time. It has it, Photoshop to do its, its thinking. And away it goes. You can see here, it did move, but it's not as good. Oh, there it is. Yep, it did work. So we had a little issue with the screen refreshing. So we know that this worked fine with the Move tool. Let's create another layer. And this time we're going to change our mode to be extend or copy. And let's move that over. And maybe you want to resize a bit more. Maybe you want to rotate it. So I'm going to put my mouse in my cursor around it in the, in the corner. Maybe just tweak it a bit. And then say OK. And again, Photoshop will do its magic, it's analyzing it. And there we go. A duplicate copy of your GoFish. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.